Hi everyone and welcome back to the Organized Notebook. In this video, we wanted to show you how you can make a subscription tracker step by step. And subscriptions are so easy to lose track of or you sometimes don't know how much you're actually paying per month. So we hope that this will be useful for you. We'll first start with opening an empty Notion page and we're going to title this monthly subscription tracker. And let's go ahead and add a cover photo by clicking add cover and we're going to change cover and we're going to go to unsplash for a huge library of stock images and we're going to go with some kind of mountain range and let's choose this one and we're going to reposition it save position and we're going to go ahead and click the three dots on the top here so that we can do small text full width just so that we have a lot more space. And we're going to choose empty page. So this monthly subscription tracker is mainly going to consist of one single database where you have all of your subscriptions. So for that, we're going to first do slash table so we can do a table view database. And we're going to do plus new database and we're going to title this my subscriptions. And let's actually go ahead and hide the database title so it's going to be cleaner. So for that, you're going to go to the three dots here and then go to layout and we're going to toggle off show database title. The next thing we want to do is start adding properties relating to our subscription tracker. So we obviously need the name for the subscription. And for this, we're just going to add a sample here just so that we can keep track of which properties we want to add. So let's say that we have Netflix and let's say that we're going to add tags. So this could just be for movies slash TV. And you can add as many as you want just to describe it. And next we can add a date property by typing date. So to add new properties, all I have to do is click the plus sign here. And then we're going to type date to search for date property. And we're going to name this start date. So this is gonna be the date that you start your subscription. And then we want to add another property, which is going to be a text property for your notes. So in case you want to keep a note about this subscription, you can write it there. And let's also add a URL in case you need to have a quick access to the URL of this subscription. So we have URL note. And then what we need is a checkbox. And we're going to name this paid. So now you can keep track of whether or not this has been paid. And one of the most important things, of course, is the price. So we're going to add a number property for this. And we are going to change the number format to US dollar or any kind of currency that you're using. And then we're going to rename this price. And let's go ahead and change this icon to price. And let's move this price further forward so we can see it clearly. And let's just put a placeholder price here that it costs $20 a month. And we want the paid property closer to the front as well. And let's actually go ahead and freeze these two columns here so that it's easier to see. So all you need to do is click this price here and then we can click freeze up to column. And what that's going to do is that you can still see the price and the name while you scroll through your database. And now what we want to do also is to kind of calculate the start, the, the next payment date based on the start date. So for that, we're going to add plus here and then we're going to add a formula. And this formula is going to be called this month payment date and that's a little bit long so maybe we will just rename this payment date but just know that this is for this month and then we're going to edit the formula so if we click edit here you can add the formula here and we just already made the formula over here so it's just easier and we won't make any mistakes so we're going to copy this 
and we're just going to paste this in and we'll actually leave this in the description below so that you also have access to this and basically what we need to do is just double check that the dates are properties so and we actually named this start date so make sure you put start date here and start date here and click like this so that it looks in this box and that's when it's actually using that property start date like this and now we can press done so we can test this now by dragging this over here and we can for example put august 1st and now it shows October 1st. So it's going to show this month's payment dates in this column. So we are only going to see October's payment dates. And when it becomes November, it's going to change this to November. So now we can move this a little bit further again so that we can see the payment date clearly. And let's go ahead and just add a few more here. And now what we can do is just make sure to calculate this price column. So we can just hover over here and then click sum. And now you're going to see your monthly costs. So it's going to be $40 per month with these subscriptions. And you can keep track of whether or not you paid them this month already. And let's go ahead and rename this tab. And we're going to call this this month. So now you have a way to track all of your subscriptions for this month. And what we can also do is to change the order by using sort and we can change it by the payment date. And we could do descending if you want to see the further payment on top, or we can do ascending if you want to see the earlier payments during the month. And then you can save for everyone. And now what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate this view by clicking the tab and then duplicate. And we're going to actually change this layout into a calendar view. And we're going to show the calendar based on payment date. So now you can actually see the next payment date for just this month in a calendar. And we'll just rename this this month calendar and we can change the properties here as well so we want to see whether or not it's paid and we maybe we want to see the price so this way we can easily keep track of what kind of payments are coming up in this month but just note that this date is not going to show for next month until it is the next month so until november 1st you won't see these pop up but this is a really handy way to keep track of your monthly subscriptions. So that's the basics of creating a monthly subscription tracker using Notion. And we'll leave the link to the completed template below in the description. If you have any questions, comments, or anything that was confusing during this video, feel free to let us know. And we hope to see you in the next one.